to let the water systems and food systems and planetary climate systems get destroyed. That is the stupidity which rules us today. So our challenge really is against stupidity. Finish the water, you'll find a substitute. Finish the food, you'll find a substitute. But are there substitutes for the real things that make life work? No. The food that they say they'll find a substitute is fake food that is doing huge amounts of damage to our health. And in water anyway, they can't create it, they can steal it. So the powerful go to poorer communities to divert more water. I don't think the planet will die. I think the earth is too powerful. She's lived through hotter times, colder times. She's lived with dinosaurs without dinosaurs. She lived with human beings without human beings. We are dispensable. She'll find a way. We need to protect our home. Women were left to do the work that was considered not important. Going to war and killing was considered important. Making profits at the cost of others was considered important. That's where men, powerful men designed it and they sucked in not powerful men to do their dirty job. Women were left to do the real things, provide the water, provide the food, take care of family. The values we need are A, the values of knowledge of how to live with nature. That's what women's knowledge is. <coughs> we need knowledge of how to care. That's knowledge. It's, considered, it's called emotional intelligence now. We need knowledge of how to share. That is a capacity we will need more and more in the future. In a period of privatization and in a period of extraction. So women, with their caring and sharing, will be the teachers of how to be human in the future. We are living the final stages of a very deceitful system that has made everything that is very costly for the planet, costly for the producer, look cheap for the consumer. So very high cost production with GMOs and patents and royalties and fossil fuel is made to look like cheap food. Very costly production that kills the girls in Bangladesh, in slave factories, is made to look like cheap clothing. This is a fake cheap. In this period of the end of the world, how do we sow the seeds of a possible world? The first, every young person should recognize that working with their hands and their hearts and their minds and they're interconnected is the highest evolution of our species. Working with our hands is not a degradation. It's our real humanity. Start a garden. Create a playground in the way you grow food. Save seeds. Cook. It was treated as a backward activity that your mother cooked and was treated as not work. But she is the reason you are sustained. Start cooking classes. Get grandmothers to teach you how to cook. Create community. We are not atomized producers and consumers. We are part of the Earth family. We are part of a human family. We are part of a food community. Food connects us. Everything is food. And finally, never be afraid of deceitful, dishonest, brutal power. That is true freedom.